Hello everyone, this is Kelia. Thank you for watching today's video. So sorry for the short delay. I had some technical difficulties, but I am back with the decorating series, Christmas with Kelia. So keep watching and see what I have for you today. So today's DIY is called Angelic Wings. All you will need for this DIY is a foam board that you can purchase from Dollar Tree, a hot glue gun with plenty of glue sticks on the side, some type of razor or a pair of sharp scissors, and some spoons. I grabbed about 200 for one wing. So depending on the size of the wing that you're going to make, you can determine how many spoons. So let's get started. Unfortunately, I didn't have footage of me freehanding the shape of the angel wing, but that's all you want to do is freehand the shape of an angel wing and then go ahead and cut that out using a razor or a pair of sharp scissors. And if you want to make two of these angelic wings, then you would just take the template that you cut out, put it on top of the other foam board, trace it, and then cut it out. So the next part in this DIY is to break your spoons. Um, I did this by hand in the beginning. Um, after about 50 spoons, I was over it. <laughs> so I found an alternative way and I just used the edge of my desk to pop them apart. So if you have someone there to help you, that would be great. But if not, um, try to do it on the edge of a desk because um, doing it by hand, especially if you're gonna do a large wing, um, as you can imagine, that can get tiring. So yeah, so I did that and that helped me out quite a bit. So the next part in this DIY is to begin to hot glue your spoons to your wing template. So now that the top part of our template is complete, I'm going to use the bottom half of the spoon. No part of the spoon goes to waste in this DIY. So let me show you how. So as you see here, I begin to place the bottom part of the spoon to the lower part of the template. Part of that um, footage got deleted, unfortunately, but it's the same concept. Um, you are layering the bottom part of the spoon on top of each other. So keep watching and I'll show you how it looks. I truly enjoyed this DIY and I'm so pleased with the result. I am going to take one more step and that is to spray paint it, but I'm not going to show you in this video. I'm going to show you in another video to come when I show you my decor and how I'm going to use it. So you have to come back to see how it all turned out. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know below and comment, like the video. And if you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and always supporting my channel. I will see you in the next video, hopefully in the next couple of days. All right, guys, stay tuned, be blessed, and I'll see you in the next video.